What up, folks? Once again, it's your boy, Tim, the handsome liberal. Ah, are all Republicans racist? You see the title on the video. Are all Republicans racist? Why would I even ask a dumbass question like that? Of course, all Republicans are not racist. But let me explain to you how this shit goes, how this works, mainstream media and all of that. And you're hearing this from the handsome liberal. So it's not like you're hearing this from Fox or some right wing uh, pundit. Before we get into this, I'm asking you to do what I always ask you to do. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Help a brother out. Feel free to hit the like button if you like what I'm saying. If not, hit the dislike button, but drop me a comment at the end of the video. Let a brother know why you feel that way. I respond to any and all comments. Are all Republicans racist? It's a, it's a dumbass question when you consider the fact that there is diversity within the Republican Party. So... Every race is represented in that party. There's not as much diversities, so to speak, as compared to, say, liberals, but there is there is diversity within the Republican Party. So the idea that all Republicans are racist makes no sense until you understand politics properly. Here's what I mean. The media does a lot to give re the Republican Party this negative branding. And that is oftentimes at the behest of the liberal politicians. We, you know, we want the media to brand them a certain way. Now, as wrong as this sounds, the liberals are not doing this in a vacuum. And I've said this several times. If you are a right winger, if you're a conservative, if you're a Republican and you're debating with a liberal or a Democrat, you inherently are going to be called a racist. That is, unfortunately, the go-to word oftentimes from the liberals towards Republicans. And I'm not just talking white and black. There are plenty of white liberals that think the Republican Party is full of racists as well. It's the go-to word. Now, when I say that, that the liberals are not doing this in a vacuum, I mean it because of this. If you are a liberal and you're debating with a conservative or right-winger or a Republican... You will inherently be called, or eventually you will be called a socialist. Because the right-wing media does the exact same thing, but they don't use the word racist, they use the word socialist. So if you talk to liberals, all Republicans are racist. If you talk to right-wingers or conservatives, all Democrats are socialists. Both, in both cases, it's a bunch of bullshit, but these are very powerful words. If you can stick the word racism to an individual and you can convince enough people that that individual is a racist, his livelihood, his career, maybe even his safety is in danger. I mean, you pretty much can get rid of the competition if you can stick that one damn word on them. Now, this also works in reverse. If you can stick the word socialist to a candidate or to your opposition, it also is extremely damaging. It is extremely damaging. So it comes with no surprise that any significant opposing member to the Republican Party is often called a socialist. And that doesn't matter what particular affiliation they are, as long as they're saying they're liberal and they're a, in their competition to the Republican Party. I don't care if it's Andrew Yang. Bernie Sanders is really the only liberal that has come out and admitted he's a socialist. All the rest of the liberals de deny that shit, but that doesn't stop him from being referred to as socialist. Clearly, Hillary Clinton's politics and Bernie Sanders' politics, politics are totally different. So how they could both be branded as socialist obviously doesn't make a lot of sense. But like I said before, just like with the word racism... It is a demonization word that has a lot of power if you can make it stick to the candidate. And that's going to happen on both sides. So I just wanted to make this quick video because you often hear lots of Republicans being wrongfully called a racist based on something they said, who they hang around, places they went, things in their past. It, does it apply to everybody or it, it, does it concern some? Yeah, I mean, it's there's some people that it may legitimate, legitimately uh, pertain to, but in most cases, no, it doesn't. So anyway, just want to drop that on you real quick. Let me know. What do you think? How do you feel about this? Do you think these demonization words are used the way I said? Once again, drop me a comment. Let me know if you like what I had to say. Feel free to hit the thumbs up button. If you don't, hit the thumbs down, but give me a comment on why the hell you had a problem with what I said. Do your brother a solid. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. 
Click the bell. You'll get notified when I'm dropping these. Once again, it is your boy, Tim, the handsome liberal. Catch you in the next video.